I've always been very proud that the Mayhew's been at the forefront of saying now for many years that animal welfare issues cannot be separated, distinguished from social welfare issues. You have one, you have the other. There's always a human involved somewhere, be it maltreating an animal or getting benefit from an animal. So we are just as much about dealing with people and working with people as we are with animals. The Mayhew is situated in central London, almost, uh, and obviously that brings with it uh, its own particular animal welfare issues that have developed in the urban environment. With dogs, it's the emergence now, well, for more than six years, I would say, of the gradual expansion and overpopulation of staffy staffy crosses and bull breed types. Good boy. We have worked in Afghanistan, in Kabul, and in Moscow, in Russia. We found our niche working abroad, mostly with veterinary training. A lot of people say, help us design and build a shelter, but we always say, no, that's not necessarily the best step. Think what you can do already out in your local community. If you can get a neutering campaign going, if you can get a microchipping campaign going, or a vaccination campaign going, you will be able to help more animals more effectively than building and housing them in a shelter. The Mayhew is much more than a rescue and rehoming centre. For example, we work with the homeless who have their animals, we work on travellers' sites, uh, helping with the particular issues there. We provide a lot of educational services to schools and community groups on responsible animal ownership and uh, it's wonderful to see and obviously it helps portray the animals in a, in a much better light as well. Oh, it's brilliant every time we rehome an animal that's come to us in a very poor condition or has been badly abused and we've turned that animal around and they've been rehomed. It is wonderful, is wonderful. Um, and it does make it all worthwhile. But I do find it frustrating as well that we seem to be doing the same things over and over again. It's a misnomer, I think, to say that as a whole we're a nation of animal lovers. And why are there so many unwanted animals that are discarded at a whim? When we go abroad, you see the animals on the streets, you know, the overpopulation. They live on the streets, they live in the communities. You see them wandering around. And when we have uh, foreign visitors to the Mayhew, the vets, they all say, oh, there's no dogs on the streets. No, there are not necessarily any dogs on the streets because there are wardens walking, uh, working and they get picked up and they get brought to a shelter or a pound and they're hidden from public view. For those not involved in the animal welfare industry, you could say, because you don't see animals on the streets, that we don't have a problem, but we do. We're working to change the psyche in a, in a, a little bit, but I do think it needs more input on a governmental level to really make any difference now in the overpopulation that we're seeing. I've seen in, in countries where they have brought in various forms of registration and in some places it has been showing results. Calgary in Canada is one prime example. I appreciate it that it might be a lot of work, there's the bureaucracy, people will regard it as a tax, but for me um, paying a licence fee to be a responsible owner is part of a commitment I would make to having a pet. So I, I wouldn't necessarily see the um, disadvantage in that. And there are obviously things that you can do. If your animal is neutered, and that's the crux of the problem, if your animal is neutered, the registration fee could be absolutely minimal. If your animal is not neutered, then you pay through the nose.